Hi, 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 hi. Today we are going to do a day in my life vlog at work version. Please join me. Hi everyone, today I'm filming from work. So if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and join me. Tell me also what do you think about my hairstyle? It's my natural hair. And also, how do I look at work? How is my outfit? So please, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's reach 100 subscribers one step at a time. And don't forget to click the little button so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you. Please join me as I'm touring the lab. So this is the place where I live and visit home sometimes. So thank you so much for joining the family. Welcome to That Girl Bapa channel. If you are new, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. And so this is a life of a medical laboratory scientist i'm a full-time medical laboratory scientist and a part-time youtuber and i'm so grateful i have started my youtube channel because most of the time i just go to work and go back home which is quite boring i really don't do much when i knock off so i'm great now i have a part-time job i'll be filming videos so please subscribe for more videos so let's get started oh sorry i'm going to answer a call you know we work and there are also calls that are coming in our clients calling sometimes our doctors looking for their results so we need to give them results so at the, at this moment I, I i want to go answer a call now i am back guess what it wasn't even a doctor it was a patient asking me for their COVID results uh, bad enough we don't give results to the patient usually when you go to your doctor a doctor or a nurse collect a sample so have you ever wondered where they take their samples so those samples come to the lab we have a uh, different department where we process the samples uh, right now i'm in microbiology department is the department where i'm stationed so in microbiology there are a lot of specimens samples that we receive from your doctors so in micro we receive um, urine samples, we receive pus swabs, we receive tissues, we receive CSFs, we receive fluid. Maybe let me say you have uh, water, like fluid accumulating on your, on your, in your lungs. Then the doctor take the fluid, send it to the lab. We also receive sputum, we receive we receive blood cultures we receive stool we receive a uh, semen analysis like semen for analysis semen analysis semen for analysis yes we receive a lot of samples so when you come in in the morning as you can see i'm still uh, i'm doing my follow-ups i'm doing my morning work so we actually culture microorganisms we have culture medias where we put our samples and if there's an infection in your body those organisms will grow on this plate you are seeing so <clears throat> 
we do uh, follow-ups so if there is no growth there is no growth we tell the doctor there are no pathogenic organism observed or there there is no growth there is no infection meaning that the doctor should try something else it's not a bacterial infection it's not a, a parasitic infection it's not a fungal uh, infection uh, viral uh, infections are being done in a different department and um, in this department we are more in microorganisms so if you are still in high school wondering what to do and maybe you are checking out what careers can you follow uh, there is this one medical laboratory scientist um, just go on the internet, search out more on this. So right now, I'm doing, I'm reading my antimicrobial sensitivities. Uh, we are checking which antibiotics are working, which uh, meaning that we need to check if um, this antibiotic can actually kill the bacteria that is in this human body. So after checking that, as you can see, those discs on the plate, then we report to the doctor which antibiotic they should actually uh, give the patient. And normally, we measure the zone sizes and we use the CLSI guideline or the standard operating procedure that we have in the laboratory. And it will tell you whether that antibiotic is sensitive or whether it's intermediate or it's resistant so if it's resistant it means that then that antibiotic it's not going to work for the patient you can only give the antibiotic that is sensitive or in some cases you can give an antibiotic that is intermediate on urine samples this is because you know urine is a urinary tract infection and um, most of the waste uh, go through your kidney and uh, get excreted uh, through urine so with antibiotics uh, intermediate results can actually work so that's a caliper that i'm using to measure the zone sizes we measure the zone sizes they should be a standard you know for cefoxetin it's an antibiotic it should be more than 21 for it to be sensitive it should be more than 21 millimeter so life it's really fun in microbiology we do most of the work manually um we do like we are still old fashioned i remember there was a time we went to sa south africa in cape town where uh, people were using automated methods in microbiology but as uh, in most of the time we stick to this manual method so stay tuned Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. You guys, we have been on YouTube for a month. We have we started on the 27th of <clears throat> May and today is 27th, 27th of June. So today is actually our anniversary. We turned one month. So please, <coughs> if you are new, don't forget to subscribe let's uh, reach our 100 subscribers before our second month anniversary so i'm so 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 excited uh you can if you have been following me 
uh, watching my videos uh, leave a comment below let's hear from you uh, what do you want to hear or what do you want to watch uh, let me know so i can create the content that you want or something what do you want to know what do you want to know let me know uh, leave a comment below let's hear so right now i'm just entering the results patient results in the system it's called um our laboratory information system that uh, system is so 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 confidential everyone that use it have a username and a password so if you do not work in our company you won't be able to log into that system you won't be able to access the patient samples and us that are working in the lab we have signed some confidentiality document meaning that we are not going to uh tell uh people patients results it's very confidential we are only allowed to share patient results to our clinicians so guys 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 i'm really 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 excited excited i can't believe we've been here for a month that's a milestone on its own it's a journey and we are still going strong i know we have uploaded more than five videos in a month so it's really an achievement it means that we were able to upload at least one video in a week uh, whereby you know uh, some people if you have just started uh, your channel if you have just started your journey i was uh, checking on some people's uh, channels you can tell in one in their first year some people just uploaded two videos but you guys we have made this and with a lot of views you guys are watching the videos thank you thank you thank you so much thank you thank you i'm super 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 excited so let's continue uh let's continue with the lab so after entering results in the system, you give you give the results to someone to verify the results. Uh, it's that person is uh, usually a pathologist, uh, making sure that what was done in the lab is right. Like they are just verifying results and give the final report to the doctor, and then after that. You go do your follow-ups. You go to your unfinished work to finish up. Like if you, what you can see in the video now in the in the video, I'm doing my follow-ups. I'm putting up Vitec. Vitec is a system that identify organisms and give us uh, antimicrobial sensitivities. So it's actually an automated method um we have some other methods i will um, i will put up the picture there of some apis that we have done before in the laboratory so it's the only method uh, it's a only automated method that we have in the laboratory most of the things we do them manually uh, that's a computer that is linked to vitec you can check whether your samples that you have put in did they run right are the results ready is everything fine or you print out some of the documents and with vitec we we have our daily maintenance we run controls making sure that our system is fit to run patient samples and if your controls uh pass it means that the system is okay and you can proceed to process your patient samples so this method uh we control methods in the laboratory we run controls everywhere controls are very important because they control Roll our method how do we know that the result that we gave out is right they are right because we run controls so everywhere oh, that's a microscope we check a microorganism that we cannot see with our naked eyes so right now i'm checking a csf sample 
a CSF uh, it's a fluid that is taken from this side of that side of the spinal cord so it's a sterile sample and uh, we are not expecting any organism from this sample you know uh, uh, we isolate organism according to their sites let me say if you have a password from the skin a skin is having commercials and we are not expecting uh, a password um, to be sterile um like okay let me say if uh, we have standard operating procedures they tell us if you have uh, this organism let me say if i have a staph epidermidis from my skin we report it as a non-pathogenic organism because those are commercials those are organisms that are on the on the skin and they are not pathogenic organism but if i have a staph aureus that's a pathogenic organism it means that if i isolate that organism in the laboratory then the doctor have to give antibiotics to their patient usually for staph aureus the drug of choice is cloxacillin if it's sensitive and in more in some cases you will find uh, a, a cloxacillin resistant meaning that that organism is a M MRSA, which is a methicillin resistant staph aureus, and proxacillin will not work for that patient. In most of the cases, we give vancomycin. You can look up those organ uh, those antibiotics online, and see how they work. So we really do our best in the laboratory we have different benches like uh today i'm working a weekend shift uh people are at home relaxing like it's a weekend but some of us are at work processing right now i'm on a stool bench you know at every bench you use different media because um different organism uh, grow on different media they need um specific food we make sure that the culture plates that we have can support the pathogenic organism or the other organism that you are looking for from that uh specific sample so a medical laboratory science it's really a broad field if i have to talk about different departments like what they really do in each department we are not going to finish so guys 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 please please don't forget to subscribe it um and uh, thank you for those that have subscribed already you guys are the one that keep me going you are the one that motivating me to do better please also leave a comment uh tell me where i should improve what content should i create i'm here for you guys i will make time for this remember i told you before that i only used to go to work go home and go back to work i repeat right now i have youtube as my part-time job so i really need to be creating um content and one one of the reasons also why i create why i joined youtube why i become a namibian youtuber why i become a youtuber is because i am a shy person i'm not really open to talk i remembered um, in 2019 i created i made a video and I never, 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 never uploaded it on YouTube. I was very shy and I felt like maybe Hi, it's everyone. not good enough for um, YouTube. So if you are out there and you want to YouTube. create okay. your YouTube channel, please create, start the time to start. It's now. Don't be like me who have been shy. If you want me to upload that video on my YouTube please let me know in the comment area and um thank you thank you today is our anniversary one month anniversary and if you have come this far if you you are still watching this video 
write in the comment area that happy one happy one month anniversary so thank you thank you for supporting please don't forget to subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet and um see you in our next video thank you thank you so much we really appreciate that